The AI sad cat stories are so sad. Look how sad this kid is after watching one. These sad cat stories have become the new Elsagate, whereupon children are being subjected to mass-produced poorly animated slop. However, there is a specific trend where sad cat stories have become the most popular iteration of this slop, often paired with the meow cover of What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish. Thanks to their association with children, these clips have become the new Skibbity Toilet, or a new version of the Roblox sad stories except produced with AI. The first example of the kids crying over AI sad cat stories seems to be the clip shown at the beginning of this video, which was uploaded by Riker on the 16th of June and has amassed an incredible 158 million views since. However, this does not appear to be an isolated incident. There are plenty of videos of children looking sad after watching cat clips, all seemingly inspired by Riker's post. But then, it goes even further back than that. There are videos uploaded by grown adults poking fun at the trend, claiming they too were crying after watching these stories. It's pretty clear that the whole thing has become an international incident, whereupon people are inundated with AI cat videos to the point that the algorithms are recommending them to kids, who of course are all too happy to consume them to the point of crying, unable to recognise that these clips are actually just lazy slop. It is in this manner that the internet and its platforms can take advantage of children, as it is designed with a mature audience in mind, but considering the social media industry is still relatively young, no one really knows what laws to put in place to stop this kind of stuff happening. Years ago, the TV industry was old enough to be regulated so that kids would only see something horrible if they watched it after hours. But when the horrible content that is portrayed to them now is technically inoffensive and relatively harmless, how can it be regulated? This is the strange position people find themselves in in 2020 with AI. The content kids are looking at is not necessarily as bad as Elsagate, but it's still so low quality that it makes a parent cringe or laugh to see them crying as they watch it. In short, the sad AI cat stories making kids cry is a bizarre indication of the world to come. As AI becomes more and more ingrained in the arts, it will be used to make this sort of content, and perhaps we will see sad cat stories in cinemas very soon. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. I remember. Like and subscribe! <laughs>